Hello, I have some good news for you. How to upgrade your old 775 system to a quad core for cheap. You can do a simple modification and install a Xeon quad core instead of core 2 quad that is expensive. Xeons are far better because they are for professional use on servers so you don't only save money but you make the best upgrade first of all you have to see if your motherboard is compatible not all motherboards are compatible but the majority is then you have to mod a little the socket of the motherboard and uh, install one adapter to the CPU on the contact side of the CPU it's a really easy modification just uh, it needs some uh, little attention a magnifier is uh, helps uh, helps a lot yes now how to upgrade first of all we take out the heatsink uh, let me tell you that uh, Xeons do not require a lot of cooling this heat this heatsink is a really big one but it doesn't have to you can use whatever whichever heatsink even a, a stock in, Intel uh, Core 2 Duo heatsink that is small. You can see here that the thermal paste was not spreaded well. So, take out the old CPU. This one is a Xeon as well, but uh, we will test another one. You can see that the thermal paste was not spreaded well, but it didn't have any problem to go, to go above 4 GHz because, as I said, Xeons are far better quality. Okay, we will take out the old CPU. And let me show you which tabs uh, you need to cut. You take a cutter, a very sharp one. That's the old CPU, old, old Xeon that I removed. So you take a very sharp blade. Cut those tabs and uh, install the adapter. We will install now a new Xeon, that's an E5420. It's a very cheap uh, CPU and very fast as well and it can be overclocked uh, very high those tabs are the ones you have to cut as I said use a very sharp blade and go into small steps it's better of, of course better to have the motherboard in, in the table removed from the case now after you cut the tabs you place the adapter and install the CPU as normally you'll see that it fits the, uh, it fits there you have to observe the arrow mark of the CPU to be matched 
with the arrow mark of the socket. This way the CPU is orientated uh, as, it, as it must be. Okay. Now we will use just a little uh, first thermal paste. As I said, those zeons are very good, are very good quality, so they don't have to, they don't have uh, high requirements of uh, cooling. There would be no problem, but of course, if you have a smaller heat sink then you must uh, be more careful about the thermal paste. So, in two steps, we have made an upgrade for very cheap. The system will be capable of running any application, multitasking and gaming. So we will install the heatsink and we will power up the system and see how it goes. Of course, as any product, you have to take a good adapter there are some uh, bad ones that do not work, so be careful. I would advise you take uh, one more adapter than you need. That's because it will be your first try, so you may either lose it or not install it properly and it's glue, it's adhesive. Uh, uh, when you try to unstack it, it's adhesive may become uh, not, sticky, not sticky enough or so. But if you have some patience, even one adapter for one CPU is uh, okay. Uh, so. Let's see. Will it post? Yes, I believe so, because I have done this mod a lot of times. I have overclocked uh, a lot of Xeons. Uh, all of them are the best, but there are some uh, very high beamed uh, CPUs that uh, can run even at 4 GHz on stock voltage. That's uh, quite impressive. No core quad. No core quad can do this. Okay, the system is ready to run. The fan is not attached well, but who cares? These ions are impressive, as I said. So, we power up the system. Well, I plugged the PSU cable in. 
And now it will be powered up. You see the system can post OK. The new CPU will be found from the BIOS. You, you have to load setup defaults. I would advise you to do that before upgrading the CPU and after. Just a little patience and you'll see how it goes. I hope you like the video and uh, I hope you like much your new system. It will, be, it will be a vast upgrade going from a Core 2 Duo to a Xeon Quad is a huge upgrade, upgrade. Going from a Core 2 Quad to a Xeon Quad is also a very big upgrade because those Xeons run cooler, consume consumes less and can be overclocked uh, more than 4 GHz. So, you can see the fan is not attached, that's on purpose to show you that there's no need, no thermal paste need, no heat sink need. The OS uh, loaded, a new CPU found, it was recognized properly. So let me show you. Your new system, how it will be. A quad core. This one is really cheap, but it is very fast too. So let's see, let's see the device manager. information in some forms too. So. so I'll show you I forgot to show you the motherboard you I have used. You can see all features are enabled. Four cores, 12 megabyte of cassette, and that's the motherboard. Oh, the camera didn't capture okay, but it's a P5Q premium, an Asus P5Q premium. 